Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a new update that we have just received that is iOS 14.7.1. As you can see here from the screenshot, it came in about 125.4 MB on my iPhone XR. So the size could depend and size could vary uh, depends on whatever device you're using from whichsoever iOS version you're coming from. If you are coming from iOS 14.7 and updating to iOS 14.7.1, so the size Size could be similar but if you're coming from iOS 14.6 the size could be more than over a gigabyte so now to install this update first of all go to settings general and about section and check for you know software update here if you're not able to still see the update of iOS 14.7.1 then go to automatic updates turn this off and turn this back on and then you should be able to see the update so now let's talk about this update and what this update includes and what are the new features that are included in this update so so we're going to talk about this in this video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. So as you can see the software version, it says 14.7.1 and the new build number is 18G82 and the model name is iPhone XR. So this is an iPhone XR and also as I showed you before, this is the update details. I had taken a screenshot yesterday night. So it came in about 125 MB on my iPhone XR. So now let's compare the update details. So before updating, as you can see, the software version was iOS 14.7. And the build number was 18G69. Now, if we take a look at the uh, storage capacity before updating, the available space was 28.21 GB. And after updating, it has decreased a little bit. That is now 27.81 GB. So if you're updating from iOS 14.6, you may get to see a new modem firmware while updating to iOS 14.7.1. But with this update specifically, there is no new modem firmware update that's included if you're coming from iOS 14.6. Now let's talk about what is new in this update. So let's have a look at the screenshot that we have captured. So as you can see, it clearly says iOS 14.7.1 fixes an issue wherein iPhone models with Touch ID cannot unlock a paired Apple Watch using the unlock iPhone feature. Apart from that, also it contains some of the security fixes and bug fixes which we will talk about later in this video so first let's understand this so as i am having an apple watch series 3 as you can see so let me just go to the apple watch application if i go to the application if i come down to the passcode as you can see this unlock with iphone option is there so what it says when this is on unlocking your iphone will automatically unlock apple watch so if your you know iphone is unlocked so now if you look at this you know it automatically you know goes to the menu i don't need to you know put a passcode or things like that so automatically basically it detects that i have been using my iphone and it is unlocked so it will definitely sense that and it will, will unlock the apple watch as well and also when you do that you also get a notification for that as well i have captured that so as you can see from the screenshot so when you know you unlock your iphone and that feature is turned on you get to see this notification pop up which says apple watch is unlocked and also you can lock it from here so this is a feature and that has not been working well especially on the older devices like iphone 6s 7 8 and iphone ac2 which is having touch id so this has been fixed now so this feature has not been working well with older models specifically so with this update apple has confirmed that this has been fixed so especially this update is just a security update along with some bug fixes now that we have talked about what are the bug that has been fixed now let's talk about the security fixes now if i go to this you know support.apple.com as you can see from the website here it talks about the security content of ios 14.7 and ipad os 14.7 so there are multiple vulnerabilities along with the cv number that is mentioned as you can see action kit audio av video encoder core audio things like that which has been fixed in this update so if you are running on ios 14.7 i would definitely say update this to ios 14.7.1 as you can see multiple vulnerabilities which are mentioned with the cv number along with the description 
question how this has been fixed along with the impact what was the impact before how they have fixed it and for which devices it are available for everything is given in this you know support.apple.com website so i would definitely recommend you if you have not yet updated your device to ios 14.7.1 and running on ios 14.6 or ios 14.7 this is the new update that has just recently got released so definitely definitely do update your iphone to latest ios 14.7.1 now talking about the performance as you can see the performance is really good there is no change in terms of performance and the performance is really fine now talking about the geekbench score today uh, in the morning i have ram the geekbench and as you can see single core score is 1117 and the multi core score is 2071 now if i compare it let's go back to the history section as you can see yesterday with ios 14.7 the scores were a little bit less so i don't know maybe in the background they have patched something or they have fixed something so the scores also looks a little bit increased so it's good for all the iphone users that the performance has also little bit increased i will definitely do a follow up review on ios 14.7 7.1 and also in terms of battery as i said before as well with ios 14.7 most of the users they have you know given me the feedback the battery is significantly improved from ios 14.6 and the older versions of ios so then again i hope this video has been helpful and this was all about ios 14.7.1 update on my iphone 10r so definitely definitely do update your phone to ios 14.7.1 so then again i hope that's it for this video if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and also if you are new here do consider subscribing to the channel because that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of video now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye